Welcome to Monotech. Uh, today we're going to be installing LED backlights in a Panelview 600. Um, th there's a couple different types of Panelview 600s. Um, this one in particular has a, an NAC LCD panel in it where it has two CCFL bulbs uh, and these are the two LEDs right there that are going to be replacing them. So you just first thing you got to do is remove the back cover and uh, then we're going to remove the front bezel keypad. This one version is just a keypad, uh, but this works for both the keypad uh, touchscreen only ones and both keypad and touchscreen versions of the Panel V600. And there we go, the back cover is removed. And on the left there is where the, oh, there's your Panel V2711 number. And on the left there is your, where your keypad is being plugged in. If you had a touchscreen version, that's also where the touchscreens would be plugged into it as well. A keypad touchscreen version. Now we're going to remove the front bezel. Uh, there's in this pan this control has it's five screws on this one. Uh, it's usually six screws. Holds the front bezel in place. If you have a, the other version, with uh, Monotech also has backlight replacements for that as well. The installation is very similar. And just pull it ever so slightly, and let's see, it comes right off. There's the Allen. There you go, Panelview 600. Now we flip it over, and there's the LCD panel. And we have the, now we're going to be taking the LCD panel out of the control. Um, there's just four screws to hold this NEC panel in. And you can see the wires for the CCFL bulb on the side there. Uh, maybe nice if you didn't have to take the LCD off, but this is how they designed it. Um, the video cables on the left side of there. Uh, for this demo, we just left it plugged in. You can, you can take it off if you want. It um, has a little clip on it, pops off. So here's just disconnect the CCFL bulbs and the cable. Yeah, there's the video cable on the other side there. So to remove the CCFL bulbs, just take a flat screwdriver and insert it. Uh, there's a little plastic tab that's holding the CCFL bulbs in place. And you just push it sideways and the bulb slides right off. Nice and simple. And the other side's exactly the same. So we're gonna, now we have the new LED bulbs uh, that we're going to be putting in. Uh, just a quicker, closer look on this, so you see the there's the LEDs inside. Um, it's a tight fit. Uh, you have to hey, wiggle it a little bit. Uh, there's it's goes on rails on the inside. There's a on the left and right, so you kind of wiggle it around, get it in place. There's the top one and then the bottom one. Once you get it on, it should slide right in. And push it right in, ideally so that the clip is clipped. And then the other side is a little, got stuck a little bit, and just take a flat screwdriver and push it the rest of the way in. This, in this case, a little bit of force, and slide it in place. Once it's there, it's you know never going to worry about coming back out of there. Now, take the cable and run it through to the other side. And that's a little voltage converter that uh, just peel and stick. It's really light. Not much to it. It doesn't produce any heat. It just sits in place there. Now we're going to put the four screws back in and get that LCD panel mounted.
Uh, the last part, uh, this next part here, is we're going to be plugging in the the cable, the connector. So we have to remove the power supply on the back. Uh, it's just four screws. use the, the lines that go to the power supply to the main board for the power to run the backlights. So once the four screws are off, the power supply board slides off. Just lift straight up and over those rails there. Now, we'll just zoomed in view here. This is what it looks like. Those, those connectors and it just slides off just like that. Now you take backlight plug and you'll notice you'll see a 5 and a G on it. The G is the center one and the 5 is on, goes towards the outside. And it just slides over those pins all the way down so that it's, the pins go straight through. Next thing is, is cables. Keep the cables nice and tidy and the power supply goes back in place. Let's put the four screws back on. Okay, we're going to remove that the CCFL backlight cable. Uh, you can just cut it, you don't need it anymore, or you can unscrew the board and remove it, the board lift it up. Uh, but in this case, we just cut it to get rid of it. We don't need it. And now we're going to put the front bezel back in place. So if you have a touch screen, you get to have the touch screen walk up cable as well. So this has the just the keypad and plug it in. This whole video is approximately 10 minutes long, so this whole it's I didn't fast forward it. My, my next video I might fast forward so you don't have to watch me put screws in, but uh, this kind of gives you the idea of 10 minutes and you should have your backlight replaced. Where if you sent this back to Alan Bradley Rockwell Automation, they'll they'll not only have it for two weeks, but they they charge you a thousand plus dollars to do this type of work. So this is a nice and simple thing that you can do on your own. Ten minutes, take it off your machine. Ten minutes, backlight installed. Put it back in your machine, and you're you're off to the races. And one more screw. case has five screws on it. The big difference for the different panel views is that NEC panel, so Monotech has all the different backlight solutions for all the different panels, but for this particular one it's an NEC panel that, that needs those CCFL bulbs uh, replaced. Um, for the panel view 600 plus, Monotex is one of the only companies that has the LCD panel replacement LCD panel for it. And same with 550, uh, we also are one of the only companies that have that replacement LCD panel as well. And now that we got those in, now we're gonna test it. So when you're testing this on the bench, just be aware. So the ground, that's your green, your yellow green wire. Make sure that's right. The other two wires, for testing, it doesn't really matter. You can interchange them. Um, so you're, you're line in neutral. Okay, so we just flip it over, have a look. You're looking at the green light, making sure the green light's on. And there it is. Um, the camera, it was so bright, the camera was reacting kind of weird to it. Um, so it's a little glaring. Um, so I got the the camera moved it in a little closer so you can kind of see. So this is double the brightness of the original um, and it's absolutely amazing. Alright, so there you go. Have a nice day.